afternoon. Today we're going to talk about our trucks, our truck beds, and our trailers. Here at Caldec Truck and Trailer, we haven't really, in some of our previous videos, we haven't really talked about the trucks, we haven't really talked about the truck beds, it's all been all about the trailers. Well, today's been a truck bed day. We uh, installed a couple and sold a couple. Uh, on the trucks, we have licensed diesel mechanics as well as certified technicians to do all the welding, uh, any sort of automotive and truck repair. Uh, Ryan took some shots. We're not going to put it in the video, but at the end of the video, he's got some shots of our airbag components that we put onto the suspension of our own truck that we pick up and deliver trailers with. So we have our automotive dealer's license. Uh, that's more Greg's uh, side of the business than mine, but we do have our automotive dealer license for anybody that's looking for a, a vehicle. So we, we uh, do all kinds of reconditioning, all kinds of service work. When we come back to the truck bed, Personally, personal delivery truck, like I mentioned, it has our model 6087 Bessler bed. We picked our, we have four different manufacturers that we uh, get our truck beds from. We picked our Bessler bed for our own personal delivery truck because it's a very inexpensive bed that's loaded with rich with features. Basically, we have toolboxes for all the straps. We have a five. Two and five sixteenths, I should say. Gooseneck ball under the trap door. Snake pockets and rub rails, just like the trailer. On the back, we distribute the Gen Y hitch, and this is a cushion hitch for all the bumper pull. And Ryan can maybe take a, a bit of a shot with the video there on the hitch as well. That's a Torflex, just like a Torflex axle on a trailer. That's a Torflex hitch that takes all the chalking out of a trailer when you're using a bumper pull. We don't have the gooseneck Gen Y hitch on this particular trailer, but we do have them in the shop. We sell those as well. So I get asked probably three times a week, Keith, what's your favorite trailer? What's your favorite trailer to use? What's your favorite trailer to sell? I have three and there's three completely different reasons. My number one favorite trailer to sell is our gooseneck H and H flat deck gooseneck trailer. Uh, Pierce frame design, as you can see, a lot of our, a lot of our uh, competitors will use a regular I-beam. They'll weld a cross member on top of the I-beam, which is perfectly fine. And then they'll put the two-inch deck board on top of the on top of the cross member. That brings you up to six or seven inches. It just gets your height up that you're dragging more wind. We'll go around to the back in a minute and show you the load angle. We've got a very, very uh, gradual load angle with our low profile frame. Ground, which is much much lower than most of our competitors. Up front we've got drop leg jacks. They're bolt-on jacks, not welded jacks. So most of our competitors will uh, weld the jack on this line. Other than if you ever need to service it or replace it, you got to get out a cutting torch. And when our frames are completely sandblasted clean, unlike our competitors who only use an acid wash pressure wash solution that doesn't do a good enough job, a lot of those competitive brands that I won't mention, you look at a trailer that's two years old, it looks like it's 20 years old, it's rusted so bad. H&H &H does a complete sandblast on the frame prior to being powder coated for a much superior paint finish. We'll just, oh, for, uh, footsteps I should say. Step, grab handles and footsteps for getting onto the trailer. Up front, in between our uprights, we have a lock and toolbox, which is really nice. If you're ever in the city or in, at a hotel, if you're hauling things, you're at a hotel overnight, overnight, you've got a locking toolbox to put your chains and load binders in. We'll just go on the side of the trailer and point out some of the features. This is a drop leg jack, as I mentioned. We've got the bullet LED lights here, which are virtually indestructible. Again, 32 inches of, 32 inches of deck height, which is one of the lowest in the industry. We have stake pockets as well as chain spools between the stake pockets for chaining down, chaining your equipment down. The nice thing about the chain spool, it's oil field pipe is what it is. Uh, the nice thing about the chain spool, it doesn't collapse the stake pocket if you have a skid steer or a tractor on here and you hit the brakes. We have 3 8 rub rail on the outside. A lot of our competitors have the smaller quarter inch and of it stands for reason that it's not a stop. steel pans as you'll know as you will notice over the wheels 
rather than straight deck with the deck boards. The deck boards are southern yellow pine, which is very, very hard, and they are fully treated with a lifetime wrought out warranty from H&H. &H. But if you're on a farm or if you're a contractor on construction sites and you're constantly running on gravel and dirt, eventually, as good as that board is, eventually you'll wear those boards out. That's why we've got steel pans over the wheels. On the back, you can see it's a fully self-cleaning dovetail. The back of the ramp is full width. So whether you're, Ryan can just get a shot there. Whether you're loading a compact diesel tractor, a skid steer, or a vehicle, you've got a nice wide ramp. You don't have to worry about sliding ramps over. You can load in any position. Now, they're spring loaded. You can see the quadruple sprung. Very, very, I tell guys on the phone, a seven year old boy could uh, probably do this. I'm not as young and as strong as I used to be. I can still do it as well. video I'm not going to fold that one over but as you can see when the two ramps are folded over it's a full width ramp so if you're running pallets or mini bulks of seed or chemical anything along those lines big lumber whatever it happens to be if you need a straight deck trailer you've got a straight deck trailer if you need to load equipment you fold your ramps over you got the best of both worlds it's a trailer you can use 12 months of the year thank you in all our videos, I've been uh, talking about compact diesel tractors and skid steers. I haven't got a skid steer today, but this is our compact diesel tractor that we use on the yard, moving trailers uh, every day. Uh, hopefully this goes well.